Oh, well, the trash dog. Weirdly missed intentions yeah. that they fuck came boom around. Fuck John. Hey, no. man. Just the... You, what the hell, dude? Fuck your werewolf story, okay? okay? You stole the you stole the steroid This is the 150th episode. 150th. 150th. Welcome. Damn. Uh, how, I think I've been on all of them. Uh, okay, so I got two... I got two <laughs> th- <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Uh, I got two things. Derek, would you mind taking your microphone and pointing it straight at your penis? I want to hear... <laughs> what the fuck He's was that? He's doing a cock push-up. Was that... Uh, <laughs> and then gain it way up. I want to hear. I want to hear the blood rush to Derek's penis when I tell him what I'm going to tell him. Okay. So just so Derek, just I don't think you're going to hear put anything. It, put it right down on your on Let's your. Do it. Let's on do your, it. Make We're, him kiss. This is an experiment. No, not kiss. that close. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm okay. Derek, coming soon to Omaha, will be. The official Lego store. No shit. <laughs> that was, your dick talks just like you. <laughs> really distantly, though. And how's your boner? Do you have a boner? No. Ah! No. That's Where's bullshit. the new Lego store? I have no fucking at. idea. I just saw a headline for it. I go, oh so shit. So bring the Lego store to Omaha, though. Yeah. Honestly, you, the website's better to buy from. You get better deals. You knew that, though. <laughs> yes, you knew well. that. <laughs> I mean, you can, depending on the Lego store, you might have to not get full Lego points. <laughs> like, sometimes what? they don't give you, when you Whoa. buy Lego stuff. Oh, you're Irish. Was, Are you Irish? Uh, Scotch, Irish, English, and yeah, German. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. That's right, that's right. I can't remember, there's a lot in there, but I wasn't sure what it was. Irish, okay. European. That would, that would make He's sense, European. though. The Irish in them is making Eastern them Euro- want to save Western those. Western European, yeah. Well, the, the, that's the Irish in them is making them want to save get as maximum points as possible. <laughs> I, guess I had so. potato awesome. soup for lunch. Oh my fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus Christ! I mean, it was. How many Saint potatoes Patrick's does it take to kill an Irishman? A blight? None. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I fucking love dumb. that. So That's pretty dumb. Much. Hey, but I, That's rude. I I laughed at it. I smiled at it. <laughs> anyway. So that's the that, so I, that's okay. the first thing you had to get out yeah, of the way. Yeah, because because I'm sure Derek would appreciate that because we gotta put the the thing back together. Or I'll probably point. go there with my nieces. They love Legos. There you go. Yeah, yeah that's kind of the thing. It's more of a take your, take a kid to it. Okay. Do, do you they, take me? Do they have like sculptures? Oh, oh I'm sure. sure. They all do. Okay, because I've only been to the one Lego store in Mall of America as a kid. Mm-hmm. It was pretty dope. I've been mm-hmm. in that one. Been in the one in New York it was pretty crazy. Which was better? New York. They had an awesome yeah. display of like the New York but skyline. Like, I mean, like, and they had it was Legos you know, newer, obviously all three dimensional. More. Yeah, but they recreated some like famous cross section streets and oh, like okay. downtown Lego, Manhattan and City. stuff, and and it's all just one huge fucking thing. And they had like Spider Man swinging through it, and just okay. all these random like pop culture references. Awesome. That sounds dope. Hmm. Doesn't someone destroy that in a movie? Yeah, it's called the Lego Movie. No, not just that one though. I'm thinking of another one. What other? Okay, okay. Lego Movie Two, asshole. What do you? What other Lego Movie? No, I don't know. I'm Name one. Of, I'm thinking about a live action and someone just like runs through a bunch of Legos. That's a that's a pretty common chase gag from the 80s, 90s. Yeah. All right. So that's okay. fair. Anyway, Lane and I made a stop motion pirate Lego uh, breakdance video Fan on green screen. Yes. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's out there, I think, somewhere unlisted on YouTube, I okay, feel I like. That. Under Analog Robot? Uh, yeah, one of them. I can find that probably awesome. at some point. Uh, the more impressive was the, what we called Snake Island, the big mountain of Legos. It was just like, that had been like three feet tall, wasn't it? What the fuck are you talking about? We just like put all of our Legos together and built our own little like creation Oh, with okay. Legos. What uh, other analog robot YouTubes are Only there? Only fans. Like, there's not a lot of videos on here on YouTube. That's what it... Or is it Analog Robot Productions? Well, okay, there's a subset. No, it's the... Shit. How about... two... I have two Just text of it to them. me. Okay, uh, here's Lane it... Cherney. How do I connect to what Let you're Let me look on? it up. Oh, God in. damn it. Let me look it up. I don't... Okay, I... I want to see it, but I'm not right now. This is not make good content of, hey, I'm going to start Googling shit. Now both of you are Googling shit, and they're the only one talking. Yeah, You're just, doing a good yeah. job. Thank you so much. 
Well, I don't Derek, try. Derek, you stop hard. Googling. Let me look Google. Well, I, let me let <laughs> you look Google. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we used to make a lot of fun videos. We had yeah. Music Omaha. Yeah, the, yeah, I remember. It's a yeah. whole production. I think, yeah. Um, I made all the icons and logos, sent them off to Lane. Nice. It was a lot of fun. The, yeah. the Mucus Omaha one was the best. Oh, Mucus Omaha. It said Music Omaha. Yeah, it's just a bunch of shorts of uh, Halloween skits. Oh. <laughs> and everything ties into, like, you see the skit, and in the middle of their dialogue, they'll be like, it's just kind of like being at the slowdown on October 24th. <laughs> When the such and such band's gonna play? <laughs> Fuck! I remember seeing one of those a long time ago. Where oh, Starfucker was one of the names you said. You were in front of the green screen. Oh, that's possible. I think that was uh, Mucus Omaha. <laughs> well, sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is not good. Content. Well, anyway, I'm not paying attention. Uh, well, that's a uh, perfect uh, segue. My next uh, topic going to. Uh, Yes, let's because, hear it. Uh, Bro dozers? No, no, no. Uh, blood rush. Film. No. You're F- talking blood, about blood rush. Blood rush is your cock. Uh, I don't want to Documentary. Give it away. Cake lady. Do- <sighs> okay, well, shit. Well, no, no. Documentary. Okay, looks like we'll say cake lady. Or whatever. So, documentary. I have I, I have an idea for a documentary that I came up with last night driving home. Is it legal to say work. what you're about to say? Yes. At uh, you know one in the morning from work, just tired of shit. I came up with, I thought that this, this thing. I was laughing so fucking hard, I couldn't see where I was going, and I damn near went through construction on Q Street. Driving your car? Yeah. Because you're laughing too hard from your so documentary idea? Yes, Was it a recap. dash cam concept where you <laughs> just run into things and cause general <laughs> mayhem in your vehicle? <laughs> no. Uh, that's called taxi cab confessions. Uh, no. Uh, uh, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> this might sound ridiculous, and I understand that. This might sound short-sighted I, I don't know basically i think i found my calling yeah, what's the documentary the documentary idea? is a feature length documentary so like three hours no that's not fe- not lord of the rings feature length so think basically think supersize me okay? i don't know how long that was what an hour whatever. hour and a half well, whatever the, the supersize me is a feature length documentary okay i thought i was just kind of just for some reason i was thinking about that and I thought of, what if I made a documentary? And how? what would it be? Because, I mean, you know, the internet is just full of you know, the, the fitness journeys and, you know, learning to do these. You know, there's a lot of, you know, learning to do something or achieving something. It's everywhere, right? I want to make a, a serious documentary about my, <laughs> my journey to try to suck my own dick. <laughs> I don't know if that's marketable. <laughs> I'm sure actually that's there probably the is a lot of people. I, that's the thing. I'm like, it wouldn't be graphic. It wouldn't be. I mean, so basically you go to a doctor. You're going to start an OnlyFans, but you know, tune in tonight for right. episode three of <laughs> Sitting on the Job. Oh, come on. That's the good. problem with this is it's, you're going to have to film it yourself. No, that's the thing. That's the best part, though. Ken is already in, in as a camera guy because he's going to be the guy. Going, come, come on, dude. Stop. It, it, like I said, it's, it's, it's a serious documentary, but with just... Is this why you've been working you know, out to have an easier time getting your mouth to your own penis? The thought across my mind, yes. But it's not my, my primary uh, objective. If it was, my neck would be a lot longer right now. I mean, what do you think the timeline is? Like, Well, I don't know. I, just, I literally thought this last night. What if you never get there? I might not, but that's the thing. It's a story of... How long are you, you willing know, to go before you give up? What they, I, I, I want to meet with doctors? Oh, the, fun, the worst. The, obviously, the funny part is <laughs> meet with doctors. Yeah, so just like just just do what they do. You know, watch do health, stretching, exercising, cardiovascular, whatever. Every, what, Here's what the is thing. a doctor going to tell you? Stretch your spine I don't, out. I don't, I don't know, fuckers. Give her just hell. Saying, just, just, <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Sure you you documenting the journey. You need but to the produce point, it. Where you come like, up for air. Here's the thing. Fit, here's, find the right doctor that will be, take it seriously. But here's the thing. Too. There's a, it is physically impossible for me to suck my own dick. There's just no fucking way it would ever work, no, right? It happens. So that's what, can do it. <laughs> that's what makes it funny. It's like there's absolutely no way I could physically no, do that. No, you have to be born with But I want to see like... how far I can get or how, sorry, how close I should get. Excuse me. I bet I, mean, I like, bet some doctors in California and I would, like, would like yeah we'll take out some spinal cords what? Oh my God. <laughs> fuse this shit I'll think it more like remove a, fit- a couple well, ribs. I think this is more like a fitness thing. So I talked to like a you know a, a yoga I can instructor. Your neck. 
so lengthen talk, the neck. So find a yoga instructor, Make but your like lips bigger. a hot like a hot chick that's like super uncomfortable with it. Or just makes obviously she would do it, but she would do it. it wouldn't be like, no, is this a documentary? You know? or you're just like scripting your life. <laughs> yeah, the documentary of you know tr- you're teaching me how to and you know people, fitness trainers, you know. To figure out how I can get into a shape where I can, you know, mind muscle connection, flexibility, uh, stamina. You know, I gotta hold my breath a while. Uh, John Cloud um, Van Dam. If I could get him on the phone, I would, but I can't. So, uh, but I, I, I mean, I, that could be a legit. That could be a legitimate documentary. But the whole point is, we got. Like I said, I don't, you know, I don't think people it is, are like, though. dude. I swear to God, so like, is it just gonna be you documenting yourself? Yes. Working out, and then at the very end, you're like. I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Is it a mockumentary? No, no. I want it to be a serious documentary of a personal journey to completely change someone's physicality or whatever. You know, physical change and overcoming odds. But it's about sucking my own dick. <laughs> Come on. I think oh. you better save it for the end. The, sun, the big it, reveal. The, it just opens up with, nope, sorry, guys. Here's an hour and 45 minutes of me trying to do it. Now, because it's a documentary, I think you should start with the – is this like going to be filmed like live? Like, No. No, it's spaced out over months. Yeah, there's editing doctor. and everything yeah, else. But, I'm just clipping out audio or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. there's also – we have to like interview people that would be like, yeah, I think he's oh, an idiot. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a hate He's really. only losing weight so he can suck his own dick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but now, but the opening, like opening skit, I guess we could, it would come up today where it was like, how I get that idea of, you know, and I'd be sitting like at like a ball game, whatever, you know, pick your ball. And I had, I got a hot dog, whatever, like a really big. How did I know he was going to say hot dog? Big old hot dog. As soon as he said, I'm going to get, well, I was like, he's getting a hot, hot dog. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so it was like, like shit, like, oh, like, like a Chicago dog. It's got a bunch of shit all over, you know? And then I'm sitting there and I got nowhere to set anything except for my lap. So I put it down on my lap, but I, I, I can't lift it up because it's so full of, you know, topics. So I go down to start chopping it and I go, oh, I have an idea. <laughs> That's the no. opening. At that point, it's mockumentary. But you, if you, it's, you, it's, it's, it's documentary. No, but then you voice over. This is a serious documentary. That, that's it. Based on a real Salt to Salt Netflix. Hmm. I don't, maybe. <laughs> it's just it's how well people are tuned to see just, if a guy can suck his own. There's dick. just there's I mean, just a lot of audio of me trying but that that like when you force yourself. Like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 I think you'd have to get like a belt thing, you know, that wraps around the back of your head so you can pull yeah, yourself in you tight. Jesus. And you gotta grab oh, okay. it from behind your thighs, you know, from right. around like your a ass. Stretch master. <laughs> just pull how yourself close, into it. How close can you get your mouth to your penis? Let's play that game. No, I'm all right. <laughs> So that, that's just like you think you you think you just lean forward to do no, it. No, lean forward. You, you gotta, have you gotta you have curl to, up. Yeah, no, I, you have to go back. So you have to lean back. Ow. You have to put your butt in the air. What if you lean, roll back on your shoulders? John, I am worried though because, and maybe you don't care <laughs> about this. I'm assuming it's been a while, and as long as it's going to take for you to finally get a mouth on your penis, <laughs> it's going to be your own. <laughs> Will you even be able to help stop yourself well, yeah, from because... sucking yourself clean? <laughs> these, are, these are the people we'd also interview. <laughs> you sure tell them you that. Mean, yeah, it was, well, it's the thing. I mean, if they have work us out, I'll make a documentary about sucking my dick. No one's going to date me anyway. <laughs> exactly. We could, have, we could have an intervention where, like, some friends Stop try to, to get him a girlfriend or whatever. Dick. Yeah. This is like you walk in his room. He's like a cat with his head between his lap. <laughs> I told you I'd come out until the weekend. Yeah, yeah he come, uh, he come, you bring him over for a barbecue, and he just spends the whole time in the bathroom. <laughs> We're like, John, get out of there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mama. You know, he's finally done it when he comes out. There's mascara running down his face. <laughs> no, I mean, that's that's the real trick to it is though, how do the mascara? you end something oh. like that? Mascara running down your face. The, the final shot of him. Yeah. It, it just, I, I just pop up. It didn't work, guys. This doesn't even start with, with him wearing fucking... eye makeup, but it ends. He's definitely so, wearing eye makeup. So it's like, yeah, he's like makeup. also smiling, but he's like disgusted too. Kind no, of no, because I can't suck my own dick. So I know I'm, I'm, I just, I so, give oh, up. you're crying, but you're happy because that you're crying? No, but I'm like. Tears of satisfaction. But, yeah. Just full, your ending, do I, and your ending, do I finish? Or do I not finish? I think you, you finish. Your face is wet. I think you leave. Okay, you, okay. You, I was going on the premise listen. of I couldn't do it. You, you leave it <coughs> ambiguous. So I'm crying because oh, it's everything. No. Every moisture is on your face right now. 
But that's that's the thing. You leave it ambiguous. <laughs> he's crying, but is he crying because he did it and he doesn't like it? Or is he crying because he couldn't hey, do it? I mean It's crying because he did it and he some didn't people... like it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I cry a little bit, and you think it's I bad. Was, looks like he like it. smiling, but he's crying, and then yeah. he's like, "Yeah, I and then, and then, wasted and then, my then, life." Yeah, so then we end it though, where I go, "God damn it, I can't reach it. I can't reach it anyway. Fuck it," and it, or, or whatever. And then just like the last scene is we're going to McDonald's. No, we hear the snap in your back, and all me. of a sudden, that's when your face is soaking mm. wet and fucking mascara running down your face. That's, that's not... That's yeah. outside of a McDonald's. That's crude. Okay, that's crude. You I'm, just break your back. I will I'm do this. about a serious of all, they'll sue you, too, if you put McDonald's in there. It's a public place. Or you could try to get a neck extension. <gasps> we could interview those ladies in Africa that have the rings, and their necks are, like, a foot long. Yeah, that takes, like... You start that. You do a Zoom baby. call. Yeah, you do no a Zoom shit, call with them. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not touching that. I'm not. Oh, okay. You'll prank. You'll prank doctors, because it's a prank. To it's not, try, it's to not go, a prank. To go somewhere what if and I, ask them. If what if you, I legitimately I want dick. to try to figure out how to suck my dick? What? If, what if that was the case? I think. I think you'd interview one yoga instructor, and they'd be like, "Oh, honey, you can't. You're just not born with it. Only so <laughs> people can bend that way. You know." Now, Frank you know over there, on the other hand. Yeah, you see that dog? That dog's not you. <laughs> I was just like, you're coming at it from the wrong angle. And it's like, see, the humble dog. And it's like, oh. You know, trying you to start taking you know, some yoga classes, get your leg behind the back of your head. You have to go to yoga. Yes, that's a part of the fitness journey, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, well, yeah. along those lines, have you guys yep. heard the newest term? What? Hobosexual. Yeah, they're called hipsters from 10 years ago. A hobosexual? A hobo. It's a person... Who dates you with the sole interest of having a place to stay? Oh, mm. I was talking about because, like, you know, I remember, uh, a hobo or uh, hipster was a was a website for a while. We couldn't tell if they're hobos or hipsters because hipsters dress like hobos. That's why I thought this was going. I, dude, that's great dating just to live somewhere. But, oh, my neighbor's ex girlfriend did that. So my neighbor broke up with his ex girlfriend. It was a while ago. Uh, in like whatever eight months or so, apparently before the lease ended. They they reconciled whatever, the day the lease ended. She was gone. He, she she cleared the house out and was gone by the time he got hmm. home from work. So boom, I've heard a story about a, a homosexual. Homosexual. Yeah. I mean, here's it in a sentence. I've, Man, Trevor is such a homosexual. What's he gonna do when he runs out of girls? I'll let him live with them. Yeah. See an Urban Dictionary. Yeah, but it's definitely a fucking. Gen Z term, millennial term, huh? Is that more of a? I think it's a Gen Z problem, the not having any jobs. Again, we we graduate into a recession. Yeah, but I know people but. like back in the day, and I'm a millennial. That would do like essentially. You never really like knew it, called them that, but like you knew. Yeah, you guys are only dating because this guy's no, a piece of shit. I'm thinking of that. Certain person in Wayne, even but <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. I <clears throat> uh, uh, huh. but either way, where did you learn this term? Uh, I think I probably saw it on like Twitter or something. Went and looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> something I don't know. Been on there for a couple I mean, weeks. You, now. you, I like that when you always pull up the new words in the dictionary this year or whatever, or things that are acceptable to say. I don't like that. What homosexual? What? No, I don't like when they you, you're not allowed to use the word. Like, what if someone takes offensive to that? What if someone identifies as a homosexual? Okay, the f- well, I'll call them a homosexualist. Uh, yeah, no, you're the, the hobo. homosexualist then. What's a hobo? Has uh, I don't believe in homosexualism. I mean, it is against our natural Say instincts. So. If actually, no, that's directly correlates our natural instincts to find sh- fucking shelter. Yeah. Yeah, I just exactly. realized. It. No, that's so the, the basic. So instinct. the conservatives can't be mad about it. It's capital environment. But it's sexual. Conservatives don't like sex. No, they're they're in a True. relationship, no, they but do. he's they only in the relationship for a roof. Hmm. Another the first sentence listed here was that fool only with her for a roof. He's a homosexual. I don't know personally, terms. but yeah, I mean that's that's a great <laughs> That's what? a really good term. 
You think that's a great term? Yeah, it describes it perfectly. I mean, just like, you I mean, think it, it's it, a, it, that big of a problem that it needs? Well, it costs a bit in housing. Uh, yeah, I guess that, as, a, as I was asking issue. that. What did you say? I mean, do you have any more of those? I, mean, I don't want to drink your nice stuff, but... My Jello's not good enough for you. I ran out of... Thank you so much. I had to run out. I, had to, I got home late and I had to rush out the door and could, didn't have time to grab anything. I feel like there's always an excuse. I, I apologize. Powerize? I apologize. I told you guys oh. I got alcohol for you guys to have, so... You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I've I never got once. The first thing I said when you were here. I've never once alcohol. said that, well, by I the way. I don't remember that last time I was here. What do you mean there's always excuse? What the fuck's that mean, asshole? I usually... I always say, you offer me the beer. I'm sorry. I got I got upset just there. Yeah, don't get upset. Well, man. you're all like, called, called me a mooch. I don't appreciate it. Did I? Yes, you just did. You know, I don't think I did. Didn't mean to. I mean... You're having mucho. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say mooch off of you. No, I know, but you called me a mooch in so many words. I think that's a good segue into our next little topic here. I'll because I can totally to see this being does. John towards you one day. <laughs> Florida what? man yeah. gets arrested. I'm not talking about Trump. <laughs> Slaps woman in the face with pizza. It's a picture of him. <laughs> Got a nice beard. Nice. Yeah, looks oh my god! Yeah, he's definitely he's a homosexual. She probably. probably kicked him out, and he got mad. Homosexual. Yeah. Wonder what kind of pizza it was. Wait, just a slice or the pizza? A slice. No one wants pizza thrown in their face. Oh, so it, then why do you ask? Was this, does it matter if it's a slice or the whole damn pie? I, you don't think people like get hit in the face with pizza? <laughs> no shit, mean? dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm why sorry. are you mad? Would you get beef over here now or what? John, no beef. That's weird. Where is the beef? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm just going to fucking fall down myself. Uh, what, what did I... What was I yelling about? I don't know. I don't, it's exactly, I've been real shouty lately. You, yeah. Well, I had five what's, hours what's of sleep last night. What's going on with you? That's what I'm asking, you, man. It's in the, we're in the middle of that transition season. So today... Well, it feels good. I had... Springtime. No. No, not my transition period. I told so today I had JNS wow. in the morning. I had my trashman cleaning the afternoon. I had a rent-to-computer gig right before I came here. So I did all three jobs yeah, in one day. Yeah, I wonder what you up to. And so it's this transition from going from one to the other because the bin cleaning, you know, starts to either surges or it doesn't do anything. It's real weird depending on weather. So I, you know, as I'm super no sleep. No, I do sleep a lot. I don't sleep a lot. No, that's what it was. I was like, what the fuck am I trying? If I'm home, I'm either I'm sleeping when I come home. I'm not at home anymore. Like these days, you know, it's like I basically I'm 45 that minutes sucks, in the morning. Man. You go straight from one thing to the other thing. Uh, I mean, I'll be home. You know, fit, in like 15 minute intervals. You know, like today yeah. I was, today I had to leave, you know, the house, you know, early issue. Did yeah. a dog. Uh, yeah. So basically, I'm home in the morning, 45 minutes. Then I come back from, you know, switch, switch. You know, transition is 15 minutes. Transition 15 minutes. Then I get home at, you know, late enough where I time to go to fucking sleep. So, maybe why I'm snippy. Hey, those are your choices, man. Or I'm just that bitch. Those are that's like your thing. Huh? That's what you do. If you want to be busy, be busy. You know, be happy about no, it. I'm saying that's a transition. That's why. That's why it's so Don't sweet worry. after the transition. <laughs> that's why it's so nice because all that hard work that I can just start doing right, you know, a right. transition. It's like, oh, cool. I'll, I work from eight to noon, then I do whatever the fuck I want. You're, well, you're getting a transition. Why don't, yeah, you why do I, why transition do I, into not being a snippy you a, bitch. You asked me, <laughs> you asked me, and now you're being a cunt. You know what? No, I you guys to are say, very rude. I wanted to say, tell me about something that's going on with you. Fuck you. Take a load that's off, you, dude. Fucking yeah, Fanny. Have a fucking <laughs> <laughs> have another fancy Fanny. beer Fanny. or a Modelo, whatever. There's white claws in there too. It looked like Fanny. Yeah. Take a load off, Fanny. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's fucking the what? You roll in the Nazareth and you <laughs> look for a place to. Oh, okay. Oh, Lay. I got in trouble today. Uh, who be in Paris? Well, did you get spanked? No. Who spanked you? So, so uh, <laughs> that was a bad Ken, boy today. Ken <laughs> Ken posited a question to me today. He was, "Who be in Paris? Who be? Yeah. Emmanuel Macron. I had no idea, right? Who? What do you mean? Apparently, if there's a there's a I think it's a. I want to say J Z maybe. It's N words in Paris, and the song is you know who, who, I can't I, I never heard the song. All I know is I go I know it's, that song. Oh, 
And so Ken was like getting mad at me for something. It's basically, I got in trouble for accidentally almost saying Inverse in Paris because I just read it. I was reading it really quick on my phone. So, man. Out loud? Yeah. I, is this, this is a song? Yeah, there is. Yeah. I, I know that song. Is it cool? Yeah. <laughs> you like it? I don't remember what it sounded like. Sing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not searching for it either. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a work computer, yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm not sure. It, though, I'm not sure so. what made me think about that all of a sudden. God, God damn it! I keep ah, I'm I'm, I'm spazzing now. Well, yo, John, you've undone me, Lane. You've John, undone me. John spazzed out for the evening. Did Did you hear about the sur- sriracha shortage? Is real? Yeah, we discussed this like three or four months. I ago. know, but I want to tell you. It's real now. What do you mean it's, it's real? I, I, I can't find any. I have, I've, I've had sriracha every, I, no problems. No. Well, how long have you had it? I bought mine about eight weeks ago Damn. to make bang bang You go to the Asian market. See, that's the lunch. Oh, I think. didn't think about that. Well, they probably have like knockoff or better, you know, sriracha. Oh, uh, uh, well, hold right? on. Hold on. Not so, sriracha, sell sriracha, though. Sriracha have, is, is a made, it's a type of sauce. It's not a brand It's of from sauce. Mexico. It's made no, in it's California. not. It's from Thai. Well, it's from Thailand, but it's made. There's in- a pepper they use from Mexico, and that's why they can't get it. I don't know enough about it to dis- to refute it, so I'll believe you. Look it up. Uh, it's in the doc. Uh, okay. All right. Anyway, I have uh, some uh, deadly fungal infection. Oh, I did read something about this fungal infection. That's, that's the other one. That was yeah, Last yeah, of yeah. Us. That wasn't this. No, it's Last uh, of the Fungus. Did you have you not heard about this? You're looking at it right now? No, I, I read about the. So this has nothing to do with the sriracha. This is the one that's actually affecting people. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about sriracha right now. No, no, no. This is. I more thought important. the sriracha had to do with the with the fungus had to do with sriracha. Well, that's why the fungus is here because we don't have any sriracha. There you go. Because I say because I have uh, some brand of sriracha. Fr- Frank's, I want to say. I think it's yeah, there's knockoffs. I have a. Yeah, but I the thing a... is, though, it's sriracha. It, 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 it's it's not a brand. It's a type of sauce. But there was an original sriracha. Sauce. Right, just like there's an original the Tabasco. Sauce. I mean, there's. Rooster sauce. It's because if you walk into a store and you go, "Where's your cock sauce?" You get fucking arrested. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. Well, that's not what they call it. Where it's from? Thailand, apparently. It originated anyway. There. It's all they're all ripoffs. The, the point is, I so I have sriracha sauce. I bought it the other day to make a sauce, uh, a different sauce, and I can tell you, with all certainty, it sucks. How sriracha is it the same? sauce that? It's not the knockoff. The, 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 oh. How it's it's sriracha is this type of sauce. It's not as good. From it's a, not the original. Right, right. It's so like what the fuck? It's just a hot red sauce. Why it's, is why is sriracha good pack pepper, sauce so the pepper fucking that we're missing? The pepper now. kills the fungus. No, God damn it, Derek! Dude, that's what I'm talking about. No, it's not. Yes. It isn't at all. We're it, talking about. We're talking is about. Is it more than coincidence? This fungus is taking over the same time Stop. sriracha is, is not. Ah! Right, Around. and it's in all the places that sriracha is really popular. It hasn't happened in Nebraska yet, but Iowa has this fungus. So, Iowa had the fungus. We have dude. a fungus among us. Yeah, it's called <laughs> yes, corn smut, dude. Not just the smut. You a can... third of the people that get it die. Fungus. That's hilarious. No, that's not right. A third of the people that are very unhealthy get it die. It says. The fungus can be found on the skin throughout the body, according to CDC. It is not a threat to healthy people, but about one third of people who become sick die. So if you get sick, you got a thirty-three percent chance of dying. Awesome, We're so Some close. Fungus. We're oh so God. close to the end of the world. We have a fungus apocalypse. We have Russia you know, with their blue balls, what with a nuke. We got global warming. Dude, I mean, this is crazy. If I believed in I the think, end times, com- this would be the end times. The comet is on its way. I oh, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and that's just the little cherry, you know, on top. Uh, uh, who, who was Heaven, Heaven's Gate was right. Ah, they were just early. Well, let's make sure we reset <laughs> it till the fucking caveman times, you know. Yeah. One tribe in the Amazon will survive. and The Sentinel Island. The, 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 the oh, yeah, the but island? their island's going to disappear. Uh... No, man. You gotta yeah, have a cave. Ooh. You gotta have a cave system. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta have a cave system. To I'm just gonna think of how appropriate man. would it be that the Sentinel, the Sentinel Island tribe, is the only people that exist that have no contact with the modern world for the past. I think forever. there's another one in how, the Amazon. Awesome. As well. I, probably. 
I'm, I'm, I'm specifically the Sentinel ones where they killed that missionary, which was mm-hmm. hilarious. Uh, More than that, I think they killed. Oh, they, 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 yeah, people. they have a lot, but they recently, in the past, you know, year or so, they've been back in the news, even though they don't know they're in the news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but how be funny? How appropriate to be if they survived, and then they eventually, you know, started developing technology over millennia, and next thing you know, they have a equivalent of Netflix, and then they have a guy trying to prove a yeah. calamity from 20, 12,800 years ago that has absolutely no evidence. I mean, it's all cynical, you know. He finds one Time. bottle of beer, and he's yeah. like, what is this? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Survived. Or what's that, uh, um, the gods must be crazy? Yeah. Or evil? Crazy. The gods must be crazy. Oh, yeah, I, I kept trying to find that. Dude, that movie... Rock my world. <laughs> One of the like only movies I've seen from the seventies that like wow that was maybe it was in the eighties I don't even know. Yeah, it was late seventies early eighties I think. It was like an old school movie that you just you see that's like a, such an original idea that never hasn't caught back on or whatever. I never seen it, so I don't know. What you're talking about. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 a comedy, but like it's when it first starts off, you think it's like some sort of african documentary following a tribe around or something the aborigine tribe was it in australia yeah okay the outback Outback. serengeti no that's africa (laughs) yeah that's africa (laughs) it's called yabak you already named it and then and then some like pilot flies over drops a coke bottle out of his window and then the aborigines find it because i okay oh they like find all these different uses for it and then the, it starts off with like this culture knows not fear, <laughs> yeah, hunger, yeah. You know, it just lists all this shit. And then one day, <laughs> to get this thing. They turn all these different tools out of it, and people start fighting for it. And like it introduces you know, greed. like yeah, greed and and hate and anger into their society. A Coke <laughs> bottle. That's, That's why awesome. it's called the gods must be crazy. That's awesome. They send the one guy. Out to destroy it, throw it off the edge of the world, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like the warrior, and he just like goes out and finds this like scientist or whatever, and then this like teacher, and there's like a fucking love story, and there's like a whole what movie. The like that's just the first ten minutes what yeah. he described. <laughs> wow, what the fuck. Okay, well, all right. I'll. I, do you guys have it by chance? <clears throat> no, we've looked up on YouTube a long. No. Yeah, time it might ago. have been on YouTube. I remember we found it on some uh, dumb streaming service. I think I kind of want to streaming. Really? I think so. It was like one of those. Was ones it on like Wayne? I'm not v- around VHS anymore. somewhere. No, it was like. Was there like Crackle? Was that a thing or like? Spack? Funny enough, I kind of like. Vizzy? I think I have. Uh, I guess I have access to an old VCR. I think now oh, I, I have one. I think I'd like to like find a VCR, a VCR just because like of all these old obscure movies that you'll never see. You know, yeah. you can More watch experience. The Gods Must Be Crazy on Prime Video. Oh, there you go. Shit. Okay, but you know, <laughs> but just like the way of the the record, you know, it's like you can I have all, records too. You can have the nostalgia of like watching but, a VHS. I'll tell you this: you I know? don't want the VHS to come back. You mean like records? No, I'm just saying. Made a comeback? Yeah. Vinyl? Yeah. If we're going to go to physical media, just choose a Blu ray or a, D- or a DVD, you know? I think a DVD, Blu ray, will be around for a while. Laser discs is obsolete. They can't. Did you say laser discs? Does that mean I'm a gay fish? <laughs> it's rent or buy. Oh, oh, that's an 84. Oh, shit. Oh, well, keeping that. Awesome. Eighty four. Saving mm. that. Right. I remember my dad's buddy had a laser disc. So if you want to watch any movies, your only option was laser disc. And what movies did he have? <sighs> I mean like some Top <clears throat> probably some shit your dad I think, would like. You I know? think Top it was literally around for like three years. Yeah. It was around, yeah. Well that's a funny it's like the same with la- laser disc is the same with uh, Betamax. But it was better quality. That one was even less because the tape industry. Yeah, but, uh, but it was higher quality. It was a, no, it's uncompressed video. Yeah, I think LaserDisc was the same thing. That's why they're so fucking big. But it was like playing a vinyl. It was just literally yeah, it's a huge, fucking yeah. huge disc. No, I've seen them. Yeah, I'm confusing it with the tape and the VHS. What no, tape is VHS? No, a tape deck. Oh, you mean like like reel to reel? No. What was the other thing besides a little cassette tape? There was another thing. I thought that was a beta. A track. 
Eight track, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're, of. You're, you're mixing your your medias, but I know, I know, that's okay. Why. I was really I've, confused. I figured it out, but the tape industry cassettes like lobbied against whatever Derek just said. Oh, it's poor. Laser disc? Le- no, the one before that. Betamax. Just, no. Eight track. Eight track. Jesus God, Christ. <laughs> anyway, so I hope DVDs, Blu-rays make a comeback. I mean, people still like physical media. I think. I hope so. Eh. I have a well, fucking ton of DVDs. Well, the fact that I have to like... But they're keep... like DVDs you can't find places, There's that, you yeah. know. There's also, sell them, though. There's also no. shit like, you know, no. like all these, no. pri- all these Prime things. Like, you buy a video. You don't buy that shit. Basically, you just lease it for as long as, you know... You, you, you have the app. You can't do anything with it. And so it's like, yeah. no, you know... fuck that. When the power goes out or when the, the internet goes... I'm just saying, you know... You lose your yeah, account? I, you know, I, I have much... As much as I enjoy and use streaming, you know, there is something about that... Well, putting physical a physical media. disc in that DVD player Plus, and hitting play. It's a nice way know? to support your favorite videos or whatever, films, you know? Well, well okay, it might like, be watching them at home. Yeah, but you still have to buy it. Oh, well, talking well, about yeah, you have, well, that, well, okay. I hear what you're saying. I, okay, yeah. uh, I don't even know if you can buy but, DVDs anywhere besides oh, that shit, dude, Pacific everywhere. Coast or whatever. Everywhere, dude. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I guess Walmart, that's true. Yeah. Best Buy, and they still sell them, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, Walmart's got bins of them. But it's like, yeah, it, but I'm talking about like there used to be CD warehouses. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, yeah or like record stuff, stores. Yeah. I know there's record stores now, but there's no like just DVD blockbuster stores, you know? Yeah. Redbox still around. But you don't buy them from Redbox. I mean, you could technically just keep it, <laughs> pay $30. No, but that's the thing. If you're going to buy a, a, you want the extra features too. You get all the uh, bonus yeah. scenes or the yeah. commentary. Yeah, that's what I miss about movies now is all the bonus shit that, you know. Especially so the movie that you watch multiple times. You're like, you know what? I'm going to turn the commentary on A lot on of the now. big shows have the post-episode yes. commentary and shit. True. Well, it's, it's not the fucking same yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm talking it. about. What's the same even, as for a show? Even, even Game of Thrones used to have the commentary. Yeah. I listened to once. Yeah, I listened to, okay. uh, what did I just finish watching that? I, I always, oh, Last of Us. You watch? Oh yeah, they have the commentary. Yeah. Would you watch it again if they talked throughout the entire thing? Wait, they have commentary during. Yeah, the I thing? might do that. But I've watched some movies well, where they have no. that version where the, do- the director and whomever writers are all talking. When was the last time you did that? Cool. Are you talking about during the actual um, show or afterwards? He's talking about after. Maybe Pulp Fiction. No, no. Are you talking about about overdubbed uh, uh, commentary? Grandma's boy for sure. Or you? Or are you talking about the end thing where they do the, the at recap or the, the thing? No, the, the, they the run scenes. the entire movie and you watch it, and it's yeah, just okay. them talking Wait, over it. so Last of Us has that? Huh? The Last of Us has that? No. Oh. Because I, I love DVD commentary. I love watching it. Yeah, I, I, I love that. But what hell, was the last one you watched? Um, so I haven't done it in a long time. Either. Uh, Philadelphia by Lamb of God, the documentary DVD. Hmm. Philadelphia. Yeah, it's, it's a concert DVD. Uh, but yeah, there's really well, especially awesome that too. Stores. Yeah, man, I forgot about that. Con- I haven't watched a concert DVD. Yeah, in how like, there's long. a part where uh, Randy fights Mark Morton. Sorry, I'm a Lamb of God fan. The singer gets into a fight with a guitarist, and the manager's shouting at him to try to get him to whatever. And the voiceover's like, "Oh damn, dude, sorry about that. I was drunk." You know, just like shit like that. It's really just like watches violent. Mm-hmm. You know, these people fucking hate each other, and they're like. Oh damn, dude! I'm so you know, and they see it third you know perspective. It's really fun. Do you think it was like the first time they had watched it too? Uh, I would assume so. Huh? Yeah, that's cool. But uh, I was. That's like I've never really done that. Where like if they're like people are reacting to it, that seems like more of a YouTube thing. That may have spawned. That may have spawned YouTube reaction videos. Honestly, good point. Everything comes from something. Yeah. So, but I remember Lord Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. I I think I don't. Oh yeah. I recently rewatched all the, the originals, but I remember uh, we watched in the theaters. We got the special edition when they came out. Every time I watched it after that was with the commentary. I never watched it regular. Really? Until very recently because it was just so entertaining because you know what's going on. You've seen it so many fucking times. You still hear it. And they like, it's just that, that deeper level even of, of entertainment and immersion. Like you say, yeah, that's a good point. It's fucking I, great. I don't think I've ever done it for the Lord of the Rings, but I can see that one oh, being really so good. good. I don't think I've ever seen the extended editions. They're long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. I think a total of 15 hours of Seems content. Right. I thought I remember seeing that there was like release the 30 hour cut or something. Uh, Maybe not that, but like something ridiculous like that. Well, they, they knew there was a bunch of deleted, yeah, deleted yeah. scenes that never even got finished, but people just wanted oh, to no, no. see. That, uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith. 
Oh yeah, there's yeah. a three-hour that, cut the, of that. Three, okay, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but that the, would the be extended dope. Lord of the Rings extended is like three and a half hours by themselves. Then there's all the you know. After, yeah, I, I think I've seen the Return of the King extended edition because that one just fucking takes forever. I realized I was watching it one like the most recent one. I was like, "What the fuck? I've been watching this for four days." Return of the like, King. Yeah, because like, I just watched it for a little bit of time. I'm like, Jesus Christ! I like I like. How are you only here yet? Like anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to the Lord of the Rings Amazon show again. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. For this is never been what three or four years. Uh, hope not. I'm sure that they got to be probably recording. I mean, I'm sure they're done because I mean, all the backlash they've had, they're they're gonna if if they haven't canceled it now, they already have. Well, they already said they're making another season, but it was supposed to be. It was more than it was a two years minimum way. Oh, I thought it was even more than that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Three or four. I figured it was in the can though. You know, that's why they committed. No, I I don't think they had recorded anything until uh, they went to release the first one. See how the reception was. The one thing I do, I, I heard a lot of gripes about it constantly about it still, but it's whatever. The one I do agree with, though, is they overpronounce the shit out of everything. Yeah, it's kind of. Ev- all about? the names are they like super old LV. Oh. So it's, you're, you're not laying your lane. Galadriel. Yeah, Galadriel. <laughs> Elrond. Mithwarf. Uh, yeah, but that's I noticed like, oh, like, dude, because I noticed that like, why are they rolling so many fucking R's? Yeah, I think know? I think they just need a little retooling, a little uh, better. I just like right. someone, well, it's the style, I guess, of the but, director. But or someone, whoever. someone, uh, a while ago, I saw a, a side by side of the Lord of the Rings. I want to put my imprint on something. And the uh, the new uh, Numenor armor, and it's just like, what the fuck? That Gondor armor is so fucking awesome. I think I'm, I'm sure. I, now I'm thinking about. I've absolutely said this before. Are you gonna wear some for Halloween? No, I'm going as dad for Halloween. Dad? Yeah. Just like a generic dad? Dad. I, I swear to God, I told you about this. Okay, well, topic change, I guess, because this is happening this year. Dad. I'm going as dad. Who's dad? I'm going to get the Tevas with the white tubes. Tevas? What's a Teva? Tevas are like like sandals. Okay. It's like sport sandals. Uh, I'm wearing with socks. I'm going to wear it, so I'm wearing them with the tube socks. I'm debating between getting jorts or just cutting off jeans with the fray. I'm thinking I might. That's do the more full of a jort. '90s punk or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the full know. full jort, but like uncomfortable short jort, dad shorts. You could cut them and just roll them up and stitch it. Yeah. I, I okay. The point is, I think okay. So jorts, right? Coming up to Cargo a shorts. braided. It's also winter. Braided leather belt, of course. Cargo shorts. Okay. Get a big dog T-shirt. Remember what big dog? dog? Remember a big dog? I don't think so. Never heard of it. Oh, you know the big dog brand from I was in grade school. I was in there, pretty popular. Anyway, I would probably recognize the logo. I or don't get remember. like a fishing t-shirt or something. You know, fishing hat or a fishing t-shirt like a bass shirt or some like bad dad joke. You know, like or oh, oh, a targeted yeah, t-shirt. Kiss like, the cook. A Cosby get, sweater. Get one of those targeted t-shirts. You know, I'm the I'm the daughter. I'm the son of a mom who is super awesome. And this, you know, the you know target t-shirts, right? Have a target, target t-shirt. t-shirt. I just um, get a Trump one. Just a big picture of Trump. Get the Casio. I actually have the Casio already. Get the Casio wristwatch. This just sounds like you're wearing what's in your the closet. Reader's golf hat or Bass Pro hat fanny pack. Put it all together, Dad. All right. And I, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, of course I got to play the part though. You too. have snacks. It's pretty generic. That's the idea. It's generic. It's everyone's dead. Uh, snacks probably. Uh, but but so I'm, you know, I but I, I act, I act like dad, and everybody at me is like, "Hey, sport, how you been? Dog treating you all right? All right, good for you." You know, it's like, "Hey, keep it up, bud." And just like call everybody sport, bud, tiger, hoss, uh, whatever. Champ. Think, champ, thank you. Are you uh, gonna be grilling out the whole time? You know, but I, I was thinking about carrying other guys. Tongs. Come here, son. You want here? Are you here but, for some burgers but, or some brats? But, here, but here's what I'm gonna do though. I was thinking about carrying tongs right now. No, I'm gonna do the rolled up paper under the thing, so I'm always like on my way to take a dump. It's mm. <laughs> where house slippers with that in a robe. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like I'm, I'm rushing to take. I just build a lot of guys. Well, also, dads just carry papers with them. True. You know? Yeah. No, you get a cell phone on the the clip. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Belt, yes. Belt clip. Cell you phone have care. that though. Don't you use what? your belt clip for your phone? No. Oh, I could have sworn I've seen you do that. No. I have my multi tool sometimes. Are your Whatever. pliers. Yeah. Those aren't those aren't phones, bud. Pliers aren't phones, bud. I know. I feel like I've uh, seen. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. All right, champ. You, all right, champ. We'll get them next time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, thanks. And so I'm just gonna 
stup- oh god, I'm gonna just ham it the fuck up. I'm so excited because what? Well, I'm just picturing like, walking through Benson or Dundee and just as dad, just come with random fucking people. <laughs> Made him wear a wig, a dad wig. Nah, I'm not gonna commit that hard. I think we could just kind of like draw some hair on you know? <laughs> like Homer Simpson style. Yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it keep it bald. Keep and, it bald. And keep it. Well, here's the thing though. This is gonna attract some chicks. I think you can go is, as as Homer Simpson. What, we fuck? can make the little M's around the side of your head. No, fuck you. Now, I was just curious. Just save though, your cheeks what, off. What do you do with the mu- the beard mustache though? As dad? Yeah, as a dad. I have a lot of a full of a full beard. Zizi top. Uh, By October. As a dad though. I'll put some like uh, the touch of gray in it. The just for men touch of gray, so it grays up my beard. I mean, I think you gotta have like a, I don't know, even a goatee, and then just like oh, we're, oh, 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 one of those, go. one of those big fat dad goatees, yeah, where it's like just they just cut the beard off and that's leave it. This is gigantic goatee. I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the dad goatee. But so it's like he's got a really, he's got a nice big, Harley. It's not the most expensive one. It's a really it's a big nice beard, one. but it's just cut off. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, just that, that, this is an excuse to get a Harley. No, no, it's like that's that's the that, the beard of the dad who you know he he works for a living. He's got a Harley. I got it's a not the most, It's not the most expensive Harley, but it's a nice one. He you takes know, it out twice. He a year. makes sure makes sure to grill every Saturday for the family, and he throws a hell of a barbecue. You know, takes don't ask bar- him what his politics are, but he's an awesome dude. Don't don't ask him what he does in the basement. Yeah, uh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> not should I not have mentioned the basement? <laughs> The is fuck? his name you... Buffalo? What the fuck? What? How do you devolve into the basement? I'm describing a, ver- a hard-working American. That's yeah. who I just described. And you don't ask him what's in his basement. Because <laughs> probably gay porn, because they're conservative. Yeah, that or could kids. be. Or a whole bunch of just shit. Like, what, do you, what else do you keep in your basement? It's a pile of shit. And bikes oh, and... Just... I don't have a basement. Fucking old lawnmower. I don't have a basement. And fucking wheelbarrow. And... How do you put a wheelbarrow in a basement, dude? <laughs> Very careful. There's a cellar door. It's a cellar, not a basement. All right. You're out of your element. I'm sorry. What dude. are you talking about? Most basements are connected to the cellar. From the outside. The not my house. Well, no, not. But it's like stereotypical. I keep, I keep in, in a fucking a haunted movie, yes. The cellar door goes to the basement. <sighs> goes up to the upstairs then from there. All the time. It's always a cellar Shit, door. good point. I don't really watch horror movies, so yeah. Fuck. Any sort of like weird random movie. Anyway. So the oh, cellar hey. door is there. It's gonna it's gonna... getting nice out. Yeah. I'm cleaning out the garage, hopefully this weekend. Or next weekend, or right before Bubba Hotep. We finally gonna watch Bubba Hotep. Oh, I own the shit. movie. When we... do you guys wanna watch it? That's what we're discussing because I'm going to clear out my garage, you clean, do a spring cleaning of my garage. Oh, yeah. Because it's it's, it's the fall, so it's going to rain, of course. Uh, if we're watching it but in we're the watching evening, it we'll probably want to pick a day where it's going to be like, you know, not 50 by 8 well, o'clock. That's, or well, something. that's why I put well, it in the garage. Because the door opens the garage. Yeah, well, in the cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about in the garage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
the director's <laughs> cut thing where they did the voices over. Yeah. We watch it with commentary Fuck yeah, then right yeah, after commentary. <laughs> I was Bruce Campbell. I was looking at Bruce Campbell like, yeah, I was like, down for that. That would be pretty good. That's like a, a then, then, then we double play, feature or whatever. And then, and then we break out the video games, board games, whatever, card games. Okay, okay. That's start good, yeah. punch board, each other board, the cock. Everyone bring a board game. Ooh, that'd be... Yeah, but yeah, don't bring like Monopoly. I'd imagine the, the, the Gathering a, Board Game. Bring a game. A what? Imagine the Gathering Board uh, Game. Munchkin. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I was going to say like, bring a Munchkin. game because someone could bring a... Uh, <laughs> uh, you ever play Super Fight card game? No, I'm sorry. My ears blew off. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Gazuntite. Jeez, ow! Oh, he's gross! Sli- he, I just saw that. Yeah. He slimed For me. everyone <laughs> curious, he wiped it off ghost. his sleeve and wiped it on his pants. What else was it to do with that? I'm on the show right now. Look it. Uh, <laughs> would you save me a sample? <laughs> <laughs> that could anyway, him. This, uh, this game called Super Fight. It's a card game where you get like these like random three cards that you have to that makes a superpower or a uh, superhero or some sort of you know powerful whatever fighting thing, and then they Munch- all have it, and then you figure out like who's gonna fight. Munchkin. So you're talking about super fight. Oh, okay. I'm and sorry. so basically, so at one point I was a, a ten-story height uh, eagle that shoots lightning versus uh, another you know monster that you build from these you know these you randomly dealt cards. Hmm. Yeah, it's super. It's really fun. So I was thinking, pretty, we watch a movie. Pretty fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. We watch a movie. Watch a movie on, uh, with commentary. Uh, then we uh, yeah, it's like video games, card games, uh, board games, people's confined space if it rains. And if it does get cold, I have a kerosene heater. What? When is this now? You Whenever we, it as soon as we want. Okay. I mean, it's got to be at least. I got to clean the garage. April, out, yeah. Clean it out. How many people can you get in your garage? A Com- lot. Comfortably. How big a screen? We You've been in, over there, haven't you? The she shed or the garage? The garage. Yeah, that's what I don't I, remember I hosted exactly. A, I hosted a wedding in there. There's plenty of room. You have a big garage. Didn't he come out last summer when we all met up there to play? No, he was being a trifling bitch. He didn't show up. Oh, yeah. I was. You know what? I'm going to punish you for that. What did we watch there? It was just growing up. We didn't watch it. No, we just we we just yeah yeah, we grilled. We we played card games. That was right before my buddy flipped out and tried to fight Nate. Uh, That might have been right after I left. No, it was right before. Probably before you got right where he got there. Oh, this is right. You were talking about that right? That was early. Yeah, yeah. That that really bothered me. Uh, Hey, where you guys were playing? Like Munchkin. The other card games. Did we, play D&D? we didn't play D&D that I know day. We didn't, no, we, 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 we hung out just fucking around for a while. I don't know. Either way, I'm down. Now that it's spring, I'm totally down to do Dude, I'm, I just, like I've this. got to get the fuck outside. And yeah. it, even after it's sitting in the garage while raining, I don't give a shit. I have to get outside. Dude, it's fucking driving me nuts. I can't imagine how you guys are feeling about that. Ugh. No, it's fair. I mean, when was the last time you took a run with the dog? Jesus Christ. I went on a nice long walk the other day. No, like a run. Like a summer run. Yeah. Uh, I can't run her in the summer. It has to be too cool hot. out. So you should be running her now. I thought you went to a... I thought you ran a lot with your dog. Yeah, but not, I can't run her in the summer. It's oh, too no, hot. Oh, you run. Yeah. Oh, I think you always run with a dog. I will. Oh. No, I have run with a dog. Like, yeah, that's better to do. Like, not <sighs> when was in the, the summer. last time you went for a run? Then last time I personally went for the run was probably in the fall. Right. Yeah, I didn't so do it all the winter. Like, ugh, like, like, I, just, I don't want to feel like doing it in the cold. Hmm. Right. So I'm saying it's like, I'm, but the cold is. I'm over sure you guys now. are super ready to get the fuck outside. Yeah, you know, I need to get fishing. back into exercising. I need to do some fucking lake time. What's, I need some lake time. Do you have a, I can't remember. Do you have access to a boat? I have a. Do you yak. have a boat? You have a boat? I have a kayak. You got a kayak, yak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a yak attack. I remember that from uh, uh, Ace Ventura. Now, the North American water buffalo. <laughs> uh, that's all I can think about when you say Oh, damn. It doesn't mean we can't have some water time. Right, but so I'm thinking of, we have like a, just a little... A little dingy to go play with. So yeah, are we, I'm are we playing? Go camping, fishing. Are we going to do the also? magic on the show? Not this one. I forgot. Oh. Oh, on that. On that are oh. we going to live stream us playing, me teaching guys and how to bring play it, magic? I, I don't know. I don't, we don't. You know, we don't have to monetize everything, Derek. Monetize? I think it's a bad medium. Who's paying you to watch play magic? I mean, you better, you fucker, after that sentence. Derek, you pulled uh, your cards out. Yeah. I think you should... Try to tease us and intrigue yeah, us. Yeah, whip it out and tease us. Like, you brought your cards down here. Now tease me. No, I'm going to say, like, we're not, John and I the are not. The cards are the tease. We're not going to play a game of magic this week. Yeah. But you need to give us some sort of excitement or, like, you know, 
a little explanation on why magic is so fun to play. Dragons. Yeah. And how the how we can defeat Or the undead. How we can like be successful with these dragons. No, you uh you want to play with you gotta pick the color you want. There's white, black, blue, red, green. Purple. You can't pick the rainbow? Still purple. There are rainbow decks. Puce. I have an all color deck. Is it's extremely hard to play with. Like aquamarine? Maroon. No, it's, just, it's forest. Mauve. Forest? Yeah, green is forest. You can't pick tan. Red is Crimson. fire. Uh, oh, Black is charcoal. swamp. We're not just listing off. White is plains. Oh, so we're not just listing off. And blue is water. Colors? I thought we were listing off colors. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was. <laughs> uh, is there a chartreuse dragon? I want to I be Azul. There is no I wanna, Zena. I want to be. <laughs> there is only Azul. Burnt blue. Sienna. <laughs> Blue's water. They specialize in water, magic, water for the most part. Water magic, water magic. Yeah, especially like specifically the magic that they deal in though is psychic damage or uh, magic. Like, water, wa- like, like water- waterboarding, psychic waterboarding water? is pretty psychologically damaging. Yeah. They probably have a waterboarding <laughs> card. <laughs> Jesus, I'm a wizard. Please stop, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Just- <laughs> Tell us where the demon is. <laughs> it's our dragon. Tra- <laughs> Are there blue dragons? Uh, water dragons, probably. S- sea dragon. Yeah, I think I have, have a sea dragons. dragon card. You have a sea dragon card. Something yeah. like that. Is it Gyarados? Is this Pokemon? That's I'm Pokemon. About Pokemon. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. <laughs> is it he- the water one? No. no that's the- oh, sc- <laughs> <laughs> to the name, dude. What's Bulbasaur do? He makes bubbles. Yeah, he He's a, a no, flower. That's not, that's not bubble right. Sore, that's right. Bulba. That's right. Bulb. That's right. Flower bulb. I remember now. I Bulbasaur. I was. <laughs> you're being a real Bulbasaur right now. You know that. Oh, I was picturing <laughs> Squirtle though. Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That, 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 that killed me. It's, it's better squirtle, than squirtle. homosexual. That's yeah, way better than homosexual. <laughs> A Bulbasaur? Ah, Bulbasaur. Ah, it means many things. Mm. Well, two things. Oh, what is, fuck. What does that one look like? <laughs> a sca- scaly... All right. Now I'm not going to say it. Uh, what, other, what other water creatures are there? Gyarados. He's, so he, he's evolved from Magikarp. Snakes? Oh, there's the water snakes? There are probably... Ooh, there there's a, Godz- a lot, man. Is there a Godzilla? Char- no. Char- no. no. Charizard? No. Charizard? real fire. Charizard? God damn it. Charizard would be a uh, fire. Ugh. A little bit of fire. John bit, spilt his water. beer. Party foul. Party foul. Hey, I uh, did that last weekend with the peppermint. Shit uh, sucks. So, Vulvasaur. That's not a real Pokemon, is right. it? So I have a real thing to talk about, though. So the Pentagon, the Pentagon put out this whole paper uh, and drafted a document that said aliens could be visiting our solar system and releasing smaller probes, like missions conducted by NASA and studying other planets. And they're saying, that, you know, postulating that there could be something like that because they're trying to explain, what do they call them now, USOs? U- UAPs. UAPs. What's a UAP? Unidentified aerial phenomenon. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. That one. Uh, but anyways, they haven't been able to explain everything. So and they've been releasing all this weird shit here, like last few years, like slowly. Uh, so now they're postulating that there could be a alien mothership releasing probes. At the same time, this is getting released in the news on just the fourteenth. There was also stories about. Uh, here this past week about a certain asteroid that they think may not be an asteroid and now a certain Princeton professor is yeah. traveling somewhere to collect samples off of the ocean floor where they worked with NASA determined some like five by five meter area was a likely landing spot for this comet and now they're looking for like basically they said it's like it's gonna be damn near impossible to find anything from the meteorite specifically because it's in sand and they're like, we're going to be looking for larger sand particles compared to the rest of the sand. Like, it's really tiny little things, they find. But, so I'm confused, though. There's an asteroid out that's out there that they think is going to land It's somewhere. odd. It's, there's properties about the asteroid that is weird, I guess. 
But it's already landed here. No, 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 no. It's it's out in the atmosphere, out in uh, but why uh, the solar system? Why are they going to the bottom of the ocean then? Uh, there was. I don't know if what they're going to the ocean for was related to the asteroid that people have been talking about, but uh, I guess the way it appeared out of nowhere when it crashed. Uh, I think they said it's about the size of a football. There was something about how Wait, you know usually they're pretty good at like, tracking and knowing what's up and entering the atmosphere. So and there stuff. was two, like so there was two. Asteroids no, no, you're out in the solar system, there's an asteroid. Okay. That they, some people have been saying like that could be an alien ship. Uh, yeah. At the same time, the Pentagon is saying like, hey, there could be an alien ship out in the solar system sending probes. Excuse us. Probes, excuse me. Sending probes here. Then there's also been something that came into the atmosphere back in, God, what was it, like 2005 or something. And it was completely unexplained. Well, there's and constantly things Somehow they, they also knew something about, I think, its, its chemical composition. Like it had weird metal properties to it. I don't know how they got all that from the way it flew. Maybe it was the color that it, it emitted or something. But hmm. like fireworks, you know, iron burns that's red. What, that's what I'm telling you, though, Derek. Is like, there's constantly asteroids hitting the yeah. Earth and landing. Yeah. It's happening all the time. Or there was one that for whatever reason they, they were like, this one's special. Had moon rocks that they liked. Uh, what? Moon what rocks? What the fuck? Well, special I just got rocks. in the conversation. I don't and think I moon rocks just fall off the moon. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going for it, guys. I'm just, I was confused. You're like stringing multiple stories together, it seems Yes, like. there's the meteorite, there's a one that crashed to Earth, and then there's NASA or the Pentagon and talking about. what does about. it all mean? It's all pointing towards aliens. Oh. The government's saying this is happening or postulating I, it could be happening. Awesome. So in the Pentagon. Well, I add it to the list. There's a, mis, a, a massive asteroid outside the solar system that has weird properties and at the same time, the Pentagon saying, like, hey, there could be a mothership out there sending probes. Awesome. Fuck yes. There was also something else that broke away from space that entered our atmosphere. Usually we're pretty good like when stuff enters, you know, unless it's yeah. like really small. We know. Like, like a pinky? Yeah, you know, you're not going to find a screw that fell off from the fucking astronauts. I was making a butt joke, but all right, go ahead. It, things entering the atmosphere is a butt joke? You say to a story, no, that's like a pinky. That's, all right. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, on, what sir. proof do you have? I don't have any direct proof. Uh, yeah, but the government's like saying like this could be happening. Yeah, it's Project Bluebeam. They're gonna fake a fucking mothership coming down to Earth, and we'll all worship our new overlords. I cannot wait. Are they gonna bring us? They'll be our saviors. Something like stop. South Park, where they're like, "Here's some Blark Bar." Oh yeah, and then it'll yeah. be like one zillion oh, space. It's worth bucks. so much money. One zillion. It was one zillion space bucks. That's that's what it was. And they just signed their own value to it. Yeah. yeah it was, a... was that when the little racer yeah. discovered God, space time? That's, God, that's a good episode. I love that episode. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, add that to the list then of, of the ways the world's going to end. Well, yeah. That, that aren't man made, excuse me. Because our man made ones are. The world's not going to end because I feel like people no, already no, live. The world will be fine. We'll be, you we'll know, be fucked. We'll be back. Well, yeah, we'll, we're gone. I mean, I'll clearly, yes, flood. I'll clearly survive because I have plot armor, okay? It's and you can suck me. your own dick. And I can suck my own dick in the wild. I mean, yes, in general, yeah. <laughs> so along the lines of that documentary so you had me watch, the docuseries <laughs> of the guy at the theory of the meteorite hitting Earth the and then the great oh, yeah, flooding yeah, yeah. event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What of it? Well, a lot of people lived underground right after the, the nuclear well, he winter went to, that he happened. He went to that Turkey one or whatever. One that's they're all over Turkey. the place, though. There's a really big one in Turkey. Yeah, that Gobekli, they're all like Gobekli connected Tepe? in random tunnels. Gobekli Tepe? Not Gobekli Tepe. Oh, it, the Turkey one is the one that's underground. Oh, okay. That's like 200 well, that, stories or whatever. I don't know if it's in it, stories, but it's Two, like it, it was like big enough to support like a, a very large population. Like I want to say it was like around fifteen thousand, maybe closer to twenty thousand. Oh. And they found some similar <laughs> ones in the general region, and then after next. Enough excavation to start up discovering that they were all interconnected. Where they would have long corridors leading from one to the other, like underground cities connected to other underground cities. And this one was kind of the nucleus of it all. Sweet. But I think if you live underground for two hundred years, people are gonna fucking dig some tunnels. Yeah, yeah. You know? you, 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 you're turned into chuds. Well, I mean that's what happened during the Youngest Dryest period too, where it was a thousand over a thousand years 
the fucking planet was just like in turmoil, you know? Nothing was growing. Yeah. So and we got shit aliens, and... nuclear war, global warming. Anyway, the globalization gays. will reset at uh, some day. But humans will survive in caves. Yeah. And not just like the Aborigines. What about space? Uh, yeah, no, they'll run out of oxygen. They're both so fly <clears> far. But the government is we underground. Have Think oh, about yeah. it. The government has fucking some bunkers, right? Underground. Oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they will yeah. survive. And we'll, what will they be like at the end? Where is the bunker they have? Is it Colorado? It's a no, big one in Colorado. Colorado. I mean, they Colorado. have all sorts of them in Washington as well. Yeah, East Coast, a lot of bunkers, Virginia, but, but, you know. Right. Anywhere yeah. the fucking no, we're, 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 I mean, we, fucking, we as people here at this table are fucked. We don't even know what's underneath what? off it, you know? Think about it. Yeah. The government tried uh, to yeah, unex- unexplored ordnance and jet fuel. Shit. I tell you what that... What, what that, what that? No, no. I mean, you probably shouldn't. No, it's not... A, <laughs> I, I know about it, so it's clearly not that big a deal. Uh, I went to off it to clean, to power wash, and they said they this the, the building... Broke you sure, ground. you don't have like an NDA to like not I talk do not about have anything. A fucking NDA. Okay. They were gonna build this just a steel building, and uh, they broke they broke ground in uh, end of December, and they found they started they started digging. They found unexploded ordnance, which I think was just small arms oh. ammo, uh, you know, just, you know uh, rifle rounds. But they've also uncovered uh, tanks of old jet fuel. It's like. How the fuck do you just bury jet fuel? What the fuck? How do you lose tanks of jet fuel? Well... This is fucking crazy. It has flooded before. Maybe. America left a lot of stuff when we pulled out of Iraq. No, we're talking, we're talking off it. Yeah, and how That's old is off it? I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Old enough World to War bury II? fucking full tanks of before. jet fuel. It used to be called Stratcom. It's no, no, off no. an Air Force base. No, I thought Stratcom was... Oh, no, it's, it's still Stratcom. It's in there. Yeah, that's just part of it. What's the name of the Aerospace Museum? Uh, SAC. SAC. Strategic Air That's what it was. It used to be called SAC. That's right. Air it Base. used to be called SAC. That's right. And they changed the Stratcom. My mom goes, that's stupid. Back in the 90s and shit, they moved yeah. all the planes. I remember when they moved it all and started the Aerospace Museum. God, I love that place. Yeah. Fuck all the SAC I've Museum. I've only been there once. It's so... <clears throat> it's one of those places, like, it's either really boring or fucking awesome. Like you know, it's it's it depends on how you. I just, approach I it. was in high school. It was not. Cause it's, cause it's just ready a museum. For it. Yeah. But if you, go I am there not and, amused. Basically, but if you I go in there with like chasing other things, you know, like, really right. wanting to know you. Because know, it's not just oh cool, there's a plane. He's inverted. You know, why? What is the plane? What's the plane? You know, used for? How many people does this plane kill? How many people does this plane save? You know. All these things. Yeah, I in the flight simulator. I didn't read anything. I don't, I've never I done that. There. I didn't do a simulator. I don't remember that. At I've all. never done that. Yeah, I'm a simulator. It's fun. Yeah, you get in a big box and yeah. it like moves around and shit. And oh, it's like... is it, I, I remember every time I go, it's, it's too expensive. I'm like, like my art, or, or I, I'm too big now. But when I was a kid, yeah, I was like, like, fuck yeah, you. So at least 15 or 20 back in the day. So it's probably now. But uh, damn, I've been out a while. Let's go. Let's get. Let's, let's go and check out some planes. I'd rather go to a wildlife safari. We'll go both. They're right next to each other. Yeah. yeah douche. Fuck yeah. you. Fuck, fuck. Lane. Yeah, Lane. Jesus. I don't get off looking at planes. Sorry. Yeah, he gets off at looking at pictures of other lanes. This is true. Ah. I like automobiles. Let's go to L.A. Let's keep it in the lane. Or uh, Let's go to L.A. and go to the Pierce Auto Museum. God, I was... Trains, lanes, and automobiles. Uh, You know that there's also that Star Wars museum. It's not a Star Wars museum, but it's George Lucas is having a museum out in L.A. Good. He's been working on it for like 10 years now. 10 years. Maybe not, but it's been a really long time, and it's all about, like... Star Wars? No, it's about, like, the future. It's crazy. Look, I can't remember what it's called, but would you look up George Lucas Museum? The Lucasarium. No, and it's, like... Is this the one that is getting close, like, a couple years away from being done with? Yeah, maybe. It looks it looks like a Naboo fucking Starfighter. Or, like, the... Sick. You know, the silver... I thought one. he didn't have that much... Like there is Star Wars stuff, he but not that much. Fucking five million dollars, billion dollars. Opening right? in Los Angeles, twenty twenty five. I still want to go. I I want to go to Galaxy's Edge, but like, god damn. Yeah, Disneyland's expensive. I mean, Christ, I mean that's like a fifteen thousand dollar trip. The museum or the the hotel they have there is six thousand dollars. Oh yeah, I, I remember we talking about six grand. I can't remember what it was, 
But anyway, it's not cheap either way. But I keep seeing you know YouTube shorts about like the bounty hunter things. Like you could go and be a bounty hunter, and there's like 20 people to go catch. There's it. a picture. Make your of... fucking lightsabers. I mean, all the oh, damn. It's kind of a Star Wars feel, but it's not like a specific yeah. ship or anything. But it's well, very, it's, it's, it's very angly. I don't think it's glazed yet, too. <laughs> glazed, chrome, <laughs> not glazed. Let me glaze my. Bumper. I feel like I saw some concept art that was like, oh, that's just cool, fucking. Do you guys want like, to go it to looks Galaxy? like it's out of could be out of Star Wars. You guys want building. to go to Galaxy's Edge though? It's almost like the Star Sh- Destroyer. It's been delayed and delayed and keeps getting put back. They, they bit them though. What huh. Star Destroyer are you talking about? Star Wars. Remember they were kind of like Palpatine says we got to get the shit done now and then oh the Death Star. Death Star. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Death Star. oh, I've lost a lot of respect for you, Reese, just now. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Kiss That's... my ass. That's brutal. Suck my I nut. I saw that there was suck my a bunch of like like Star Wars movies have all been canceled. There's like nothing in production. Well, uh, yeah. Like there was a couple. Oh, because they can't write anything decent. Yeah. I'm not that yeah. particularly enjoying Mandalorian I, at the moment. Really? Uh, I haven't watched any of it yet. It's okay. It's a bit slow. Yeah. It seemed like a lot happened. I mean, that's why it's like. Season, that kind of started going downhill. I mean. It's setting it up. Maybe the end of this season. We'll... I like how they're kind of focusing. I've, I've, I'm going to go home and watch the recent, most recent episode. I haven't seen it yesterday's yet. Mm. But they are focusing on Bo-Katan a lot, which I really like. Yeah. I, I, th- I think that's the problem is that they're just, like, Mando's story is kind of over. Like, he had, like, an yeah. arc, you know? He, uh, well, I guess now it is because cause the last episode was before this one. So yeah. He but, I mean, I don't know. You know. Have you watched much of the first season or third season? I've sorry? watched the first and second. I've not seen any of the third. Uh, well, but like, I, there's just more. Like, I feel like Star Wars is expanding. You know, like they're just trying to get tell everyone's story now. They want more characters. Well, more characters. what was the other one? Uh, Andor. No, not Andor. Yeah, that was good. Did I even watch Andor? I can't remember. <laughs> Andor was good. Was I enjoyed Andor. This really Andor with an- where Obi Wan is hiding and shit. No, that's, no, that's uh, Obi Wan. Okay. I don't think I watched Andor. Holy <laughs> one sucked. You said it, if at the end. Asshole! It sucked. Out. I don't care. It sucks. Call me a fucking Fuck hypocrite you. for calling it. Hypocrite asshole. Sucked. It felt fucking empty. You're a hobosexual. Oh. You watched You watched Andor because remember Andy Circus and the can't swimming thing. You can't swim. All right, Volvosaurus. Wow. Right? That's a good, good yeah. Great sentence, Sally. I appreciate that. What did you say? Vulvasaurus. Fuck you. It's Vulvasaur. You know what I'm talking Vulvasaur. about Vulvasaur. That was the best part about all the whole Andor series, probably. Was the Vulvasaur? The fucking... I can't, yeah, because it can't swim. It's a plant. Fucking... It's <sighs> Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Uh, okay. All right. All Flash right. human. So what... What well, got canceled, though? Andor? What got canceled? Because remember, remember, the, I remember, I remember the first well, the first time I was on this podcast, we talked about all the new Star Wars shit coming out. Because there was a lot at one point, and now it's been cut back, cut back, cut. Well, they, they, they cut so, out Rangers or Rangers. I was Republic. about to say this. Let's start start um, with the beginning. Gina Carano's show got canceled. Yeah, the uh, the Star Wars X Wing one got canceled. Rain, uh, I thought that was Rangers. Rangers of the New Republic. No, there's one where it's like didn't see it. No. It didn't happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gina Carano got fired. I don't know if Acolytes the, is still happening. Uh, Ahsoka's happening. Ahsoka's happening. That's filmed. That's Dave Filoni. That's locked in. But uh, there was supposed to be... Uh, what's you think Ahsoka's going to be good? Uh, I hope so. I, I, don't, I don't know, but you can't... Ah. It will you be, can't uh, say, I don't know. You have to give me a value of one to four. Four being definitely yes. Two John, being like, I think there's a chance. Oh, or no, I don't. I doubt that's gonna happen. I think or it's one, gonna be good. Yeah, that's not gonna one happen. One to four. I think it's one gonna, to four. It'll be a value of one to four. No halvesies. Just a, a point. Four, four, I guess. I don't know because John Favreau. I think it'll doing, be a. I think, I think he, he said Filoni. No, no, yeah, yeah, he is. But John Favreau, who directed Mandalorian, is doing it, not the the Kenobi person. So there's a very high chance it'll be good. I would say I would say three, but I also want to say four because. Uh, Ahsoka is Filoni's fucking like yeah that's like his daughter thing. like yeah. he created the character he's brought her into every fucking series he's ever fucking done for Star Wars It he's probably thought about it a long time it was taking a while it's probably the one that was like a lock in so yeah I think that one's gonna be good in the fall probably that, that character has been around since 2008 
So I mean, that's you know. So I, I, that doesn't surprise me at all. It's been a lot. So, well, she she was introduced in the Clone Wars movie. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I mean, they they I I don't know because Kenobi got released. So I would say hopefully they go through a lot of effort to make sure it's good. Reshoot what you need to get it reshot, rewrite whatever. But then we see the kind of okay. I just think it'll be series. handled better than Obi Wan. Yeah. And it won't be as fucking dreary and boring as Andor was, you know. But yeah, but that's also be a little more exciting. It's gonna be like there. probably just a one one season of Ahsoka kicking ass. Hopefully, hopefully. But they're also setting up the whole Thrawn takedown yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So what is Thrawn? I forgot. He's the blue guy. He's the Chiss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no From Rebels. So that's what I was gonna say earlier. If Ahsoka is as good as Rebels. It's okay with me. All right. Because Rebels wasn't great. But, but it was still pretty damn good. But it was so much better than a lot we've had. It's pretty damn good. Like, there's a lot of episodes that if I started watching again, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to watch this one. You know? Oh, but there was, yeah. some, there was some good ones in there that were worth it, you know? Just like Clone Wars. About I'd say about 60% of Clone Wars was good. You ever uh, see those? Uh, maybe more than that. You'll see a lot for Star Wars, but it could be almost any movie in a way uh, where they'll do the thing where, like, Movie title, and then it'll cut like to like one scene where somebody's like, "Well, if this character just said this, the movie's over." You know, little memes I'm talking about. They'll have one for Star Wars, oh, where it's like yeah. Obi Wan will like bitch slap Anakin and be like, "Don't be a little bitch." And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if only, if Filoni. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I got some. I got some good hopes for Ahsoka. Um, I hope they're still making acolytes, though. I really want to see that. Yeah, I have. But fuck. I want to see the fucking night witches. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Fuck. Oh oh, Jedi Survivor comes out next month. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. You play Jedi uh, Outcast yet? No. Or uh, Fall. Play Battlefield. Oh, sorry. sorry, Fall in Order. No. Okay. Uh, I just remembered. The Visions is supposed to have a second season. Ooh, good. Now, have you seen the shorts? Yeah, all the, the anime style. They kind of reminded me of uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's it was like, anthology style. It was like half and half. Like half of them were good, well, uh, half of them they skip. Well, I would yeah, say so. so have, you, have you played Jedi? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, nope. Fallen Order? Nope. You don't play video games? Nope. Do you not, that's right, you don't play video games, do you? Not really, no. I don't have a okay. system. I anyway. have. I played Lego Star Wars. Anyway, the, the sequel is coming out next month. That's Jedi. Uh, what's uh, the Jedi Survivor? What's the guy's name? Star Cal, Cal Kestis. No, 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 that's Force Unleashed. Oh, yeah, Cal Kestis. Uh, but it's it, the Jedi. Uh, sorry, Fall Order was very good. Who's uh, the the captain or general uh, crustacean? Oh, uh, Admiral, it's a drop. Admiral Akbar. 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 They should do that. They should have a general act bar uh, series. There was going to be a... Uh, yeah, no. I think that was one of those series that was coming out. was going to be a Calamari-focused uh, series. Uh, it's not a character so, from Star Wars. So John, What? That's Yes, I'm doing his voice. He goes, oh, general act bar? I said, try. I said, try. Yeah, but he goes, you know... Uh, uh, Reinforce the four shield generator. <laughs> That's is that how your guy sounds like in D and D? Is that what I sounds like? <laughs> no, your guy sounds like. <laughs> no, he's got. Give me the sword. <laughs> more dark, crackly voice. Oh, okay. Like Batman. Where's the treasure? I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> I'm not wearing scale mail. Where's all? I'm not wearing scale mail. I'm not wearing leather studded armor. That's dumb. That's fetch. I did it. <laughs> I found it. I'm the world's greatest detective. God damn it, that's clad. I love him so much. Even if I push this little red button in just the right way, there'll be an explosion. A is for Alfred. B is for Bat. <laughs> I get it. It's a clitoris. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's not reality. Really, I'm losing a lot of blood here. <laughs> I love, it was like, which one of these crap? It was like, which one of these things do you smell through? And he's holding their panties up. Hey, crap face. Now you have my permission to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking 
fucking love that. And my face was at the end. Okay, enough Batman. Really seals in the flavor. Hold on. Shut <laughs> it, we had sex in an order that would surprise you. <laughs> That's not that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Although I love Batman as the greatest detective. You guys brought up a good point right when I was leaving. And it, it's still the moment I realized Disney Star Wars it was fucked. Is what no one at Lucasfilm decided, oh, uh, maybe Admiral Akbar should use the ship to take down the other ship or whatever. The it's a trap, motherfucker. Like oh, they could have well, used that to, line. They tried to hold hold the hold on maneuver. Yeah. Like couldn't give that to uh, fucking Admiral Akbar. Yeah, but Akbar Akbar gets sucked out into fucking no, space. He, what? No, he doesn't. He serves for a long time. Admiral Akbar gets sucked out with Princess Leia in Last Jedi. Oh, that's right. And is I never forgot about that. fucking acknowledged. I just realized. Oh, oh I, Admiral. Hold on. Fucking no, no. Akbar. That wasn't Akbar. I don't think that was Akbar. It's Akbar. No, that that wasn't Akbar. I don't think that was Akbar. I Hell swear to God, it, Admiral Ackbar dies General in the Last Jedi, maybe and Bar. no one at Lucasfilm was I've like, "I've only seen it once." Maybe, it was so maybe bad. that should be his job because it's like it, the the yeah. Who the Mount, fuck is this Holdo bitch? Ackbar was killed along with the rest of the Resistance leaders when the First Order attacked the oh, fleet, and a Tie fighter stupid. blew up the commanding ship's bridge. God, Leia was able to named. use her that's dormant force named. abilities. To save herself, but the rest of the leadership which wasn't was a, which so Which is a lucky. ripoff of the Old Republic book. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot. It's just su- anyway. such a disrespect. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I didn't it, realize that. that the, the Han Solo didn't affect me because I know a lot of people say, like, oh, they killed Han Solo in that first one. That, that's the worst part one. He wanted that. That's what needed yeah. to happen. Han Solo wanted to die. He's like, I'm part of this Could've, Could have been better. War. He could have got burned, too. You know, like, he could've, they could have had a funeral for him. But, yeah, yeah, he, he fell into a sweet then, ass death. But then to kill Admiral Akbar, yes, I know, just kind of like a small background it's character. It's a throwaway. But, yeah, but throwaway, but everyone knows the fucking line. But it's that's a like trap. A, such a Star Wars fandom right. thing. So that, that, that's, that's ridiculous. And th- that line I didn't was that. right there. I did not realize It's it. a trap. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a little... silence, oh my God. That would have been a little cheered. too 80s, though. Dude, no, it's, that's what Star Wars needed. That's what, that's or, why Star Wars well, is terrible do, right Well, what if he didn't do all cheesy dick? It's like, this is true. It's like... Guess, in this, in the I same the movie, there's or a, like, or it's like, guess I set the trap. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Or it's not real. They could have fucking. This is the best part of D and is when you get a, 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 a instant kill, and yeah. I, Max is like, "How do you want to do it?" I always have to have a good tagline. Yes, that's the first guy I killed. I think you burnt him, and then I bit, breathed my fire breath on him, and told him, "I like my whatever the fucking character he was yeah. extra crispy." <laughs> <laughs> I t- oh, I can tell you about that. Okay, the day of your, of your birthday party. I play mm-hmm. D&D with a bunch of some other people. Uh, at a... At, at, uh, you came uh, from work, I thought. No, no, I came from... Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to be like... Doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, uh, play D&D with nice people. Strangers, more or less strangers. I play them a few times. They're not my friend group that knows things. They hurt well, you? I brought George and Javi from JNS, who play another group. So it was us three, and then... One of the, the 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 girl that like kind of works there, the DM. So it was a very inside baseball type of thing. We we're making red jokes, reference to each other. Uh, Javi was a, a a dragonborn, and he pins down this goblin and does a remember at the end of Godzilla where he rips open the muto and goes yeah. right. Yeah. He basically pinned them down and just Bruh, right. And I just go George. I'm like shit, man. Better turn the body cam off for that one. And apparently the, the other girl heard it. She was like twenty, and she's like whoa. That's not that's not very nice on the month of George Floyd's death. I'm like, whoa, fuck, whoa, <laughs> shit, uh oh. <laughs> but I, uh, fuck, they, I thought, they thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, if everyone laughed at it, it's a joke. But the nice young lady that I don't, you know, that's I, I'm like, oh fuck, my bad. That's it. Hmm. She kind of, as far as I know, she let it go. But well, she might be seeding about it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty funny, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit, that's the fun of the fun of the. Uh, D&D. So, uh, oh, 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 that's kind of funny. Okay. Well, Seg- segue to the magic thing, though. That's what I was going to bring up because I'm playing, now I'm playing a magic uh, build D&D. Uh, the Ravnica thing. What? Ravnica? Ravnica. Uh, it's, the, it's the magic build of D&D. So I'm, I don't know anything about magic. stuff you can do. Yeah, so I don't shit about magic, but I'm playing a campaign that's based on it, so I'm very confused. So I make up for it by RPing gross things. 
Like can't my, do that magic, man. Like my buddy's an elephant. I was like, I bet you can suck your own dick. Because he's got a trunk. Why not? Oh, is he a sentient elephant? Yeah, he's like a bipedal elephant. Bipedal elephant? Yeah. What are you? I'm a Videlkin, like kind of purple guy or something. I don't know. Shiva? Like a reptile? I don't know. No, not a reptile. But we do have a minotaur. Bipedal? The other guy's a goblin druid. And then a dragonborn. Uh, but uh, it's a pretty eclectic group, and it's pretty fucking funny. I, I had a blast last time we did it, so... We're playing again this Saturday, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, so you did find the camera. Great. What are you talking about? You! And your camera you forgot you brought. I didn't forget it. Just got it. You can say some things. Super photo. I haven't even used this in a while. We're playing... Oh, is it we taking magic pictures? Gathering? We, show, show us your magic we card, taking Derek. pictures, or we... Uh, you want to see my magic? Yeah, I'll show, show you my magic. Show us your magic. Whip it out! Oh, it'll be whipped. You got a nice piece there, bro. And it'll be out. Which, what's this your is most my favorite deck here. What, what's your most expensive deck? I don't know if this is my most expensive or not. How much that... This is Kiln Mouth Dragon, one of the most powerful dragon cards how, I own. How much, that, how much is that deck? I don't know. Well, we're just, well I'll tell you about that. Like, the guy I'm playing... $200 deck. deck. The guy I'm playing with D&D with, like, he used to play, like, big time, and he had to, he was walking around with a $10,000 deck. That's for... He, oh, he bought all of his cards individually? Well, yeah, well, also, he's a, he's a trader. That's how he makes his living. He trades magic cards. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So, show, like, old magic cards? Show us your dragon. Uh, he, he works dragons there, so... I'm sure he's he's since you know since then he's had two kids and got married so I'm sure he doesn't have it anymore. But anyway, man, this is some of the this is probably the, some of the last cards I played. My last time I played was when, when you were beating Dan. The card you're seeing here, I, I guarantee you, I was I was dealt just like, See, think, by the order of the rain. I can tell. What irritates me about Magic is you don't know what you're gonna draw. So basically, you have your fate your deck face down and you just pull something out, pull something out, pull something. You don't. You so I don't. I don't know if this is still true shit. in the rules or not. But back in the day, That's I believe it was sixty five card decks, and then you could have repeat cards up to three, and you weren't allowed to go beyond three. After okay. that, it was whatever you want to do for your deck. Okay. You don't even have to have technically creatures in your deck. You could just have sorcery cards that deal deal damage. You know. People make those builds. But you have to have land. You have and to have mana, yeah, tap, you tap, have tap, to have land. That's not necessarily there. a rule, but you can't play anything without land, so although there are some things I think you can play, but I don't know if they do oh. damage. All I know is that it, it's like if I if I try to learn it again I might figure it out, but I'll spin it. It just makes years, me so. think of Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Pretty much. Right? Yeah. You've activated my thirst trap. He has the dragons in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's all I know. Yeah, I, I mean, I got a lot, the, my red deck is my dragon deck. I shouldn't have said red deck. It's my dragon deck. <laughs> the concept on it, <laughs> okay, is what? so. This is when, when you build a, your strategy. When you build a magic deck, you got yeah, you gotta you gotta look at the cards you have and figure out a theme. It's just like building a character D and D. You know, you look at what abilities that whatever character type you want to play has, and they give you a range of what you can do. So you want to figure out a, a, a fun build, you know, like, oh, here, I can use it this way. This is how I'm going to use it. Mm. My dragon deck is all built around speed and slowing you down so that I have the time to build up enough land and power to pull my dragons out and then overwhelm you. Nice. That's the whole plan. And, that, and how, would, how would someone counter that? If there's like a lot of small a, attacks. A gun. Um, no, gun. It was a hard no. deck to beat back in the day. <laughs> it ain't nothing now because I, I technically, I think my, my cards, I think, are illegal to play with now in any sanctioned tournament. Illegal? They're, it's yeah, old, they like, the, the yeah. newest cards I have. I have some other cards, I guess, that are newer Too than this. Too powerful? The vast majority of my cards are 7th edition and older. So they're all like 20 years old or so right now. Damn near, if they're so not. Why, that, why is that not acceptable? It's not powerful, or they've they changed the game they've, so much? There's so many different things have been introduced on new series that have been released since then. People could beat you easily? When I played, the last time I played against anybody outside of somebody playing with my own cards against me, it, it was with Dan. And, and uh, we went to some buddies of his house, and they had cards that just did stuff that we did not have counters to. And if you didn't have counters uh, to it, you just know where you were going to fucking win. Yeah. It's impossible, pretty much. 
Yeah, because like the so game, the, yeah, our decks the game are just evolves. Too old. Yeah, they just came out with new, so, so much new shit. Now the fun stuff is, is when you can find a really old card um, that is basically too powerful. Um, they're generally hard to get out though. Like they had some cards back in the day that were crazy powerful. I have one, and it's like it's hard to get out. But if you get it out, like it's damn near game over. Um, but I think something they've countered though is they've introduced these new concepts with different types of uh, what they would call, what you might call like proliferation. I believe in the game. I don't know what that so means. You, you get hit with something, and every fucking turn after that, you're going to continue to get hit with it. And unless you have a counter, there's nothing you can do with it. Well, if you're buying those series that have those types of cards, they have counters built into everything. Mm, okay. In a way, no, a lot of stuff. Interesting. But so this is a brand new magic in a sense that's come out. Old cards don't have a counter for it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Huh. So yeah, these are kind of some old school. So decks. we can only play with your cards, though, is what you're saying. I have some new cards, uh, and I'm sure there's enough to buy a deck um, or to assemble a deck. I feel like I might. I don't know what I did with those new cards I had, though. So what you're saying, though, is to get into Magic the Gathering nowadays, you'd have to go buy all new cards. You want to. You want to spend some put money. Who you're playing against? Get some paper. If you know, if you're playing with people that are like younger, then more than likely they're going to be playing with the new stuff. Do so. the young people play? Oh yeah. The f- Fuck, why the fuck are you saying? What the I don't fuck, know. dude? You weirdo? Am I being weird? Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> You've been playing. playing this shit for decades. You're, I don't know. Where, where is this? The, the comic store store? Yeah. Or what? Okay, I don't know. Fuck Christ. I'm sure he... I, 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 Jace, I, I ran to him, you know, he used to play a game. He picked up a game by, like, just posting on, like, there's... I'm sure there, there's, like, uh, Facebook groups where it's like, hey, I want to play 7th edition, 6th edition, whatever. You know, so you oh, have yeah. matching cards. I mean, there's no short. I mean, the cards are the cards. If someone has these fucking things, I'm sure they'll play with you. It's probably people with toolboxes of every generation. Yeah. Hey, it's not a toolbox. It's a card carrier, as he Is said Is that what earlier. it says on it? Trading card case. Case? Oh, I guess I'm Trading the asshole. Trading card case. Any kind of cards you want to trade. Make hey, how's your basketball vision. collection card collection going? Huh? How's your basketball card collection going? I haven't bought anything for a little bit. I'm in focus on uh, taking care of my credit card. <laughs> I knew I was gonna say that. I'm curious now, right just because that's the right answer. Oh you know, yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously. I mean, obviously, we're 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 still recording, but I'm cur- I am really curious though. Like how I, I was on my fucking business. Don't tell me. Obviously, don't tell me. Don't not be comfortable. How much do you have in that fucking thing? At one you, point, because you were talking about it for a while. Uh, I think I got up around thirteen or fourteen grand at one point. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought you were yeah, not like that. crazy price. But I don't know. You bought this house. I don't know if you bought Kobe's? this house on American Express. Huh? All those Kobe's? Though? No, I had a bunch of shit that just fucking happened in a row. Bought a house, right? I had to get like furnishings. No, for he's it. asking about what is your card collection worth? No, right? No, I asked him how much was on his credit card. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I'm sorry. Like, like, my dog got hurt. Two times in a row. She was, if you remember, she was there for like four months or so. I had to have her like sedated, basically, and muscle relaxers to keep her weight off her foot. She had like oh, that's right. Hurt her paw, and then she had the issue where the other dog bit her in the groin. That's right. Got infected. Oh, I didn't remember. Um, yeah, I mean, I had to pay for like MRIs and all that shit. shit. Uh, get stuff done on my truck a bunch. Um, just she's like, like you know, every time there was something life. that happened, I, I kept getting hit with all these like. Yeah, big ticket things over and over again. All right, oh, I'm just, that's why he has a new chair. Spent a bunch of money at the auction last year <laughs> for the the charity event. We got oh, that big cheese yeah. package. Yeah, that'll do it. That would do it. That was a great game, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was he, a hell of a game. The Chiefs were down seventeen. He came back and won. Do you feel like you contributed to the victory? Oh, shut up! Yeah, no. shut up, nerd. No, well, think about it. You know, just like. I ate an edible and got way too fucked up and like hung out in the parking lot, <laughs> just sitting in a gravity chair until my brother threw a football at me and said, "Get off your ass!" And finally, I did, and then, and then that was a great time. Mm. But we didn't drink a whole. We drank a bunch early that day. We were at the the, uh, the beer tasting or whatever at Boulevard Brewing Company. We got pretty fucked up there. So whenever I was at the at the game, we didn't drink a lot. I mean, we had some big tall beers, but at one point, my brother like pokes me. It's just like. Dude, how great is it that we're not wasted right now at a game? I'm actually going to remember it. <laughs> well, you know what? That's true. I guess that's a, a silver lining to it. But 
I was also talking about the Super Bowl. Can what about the Super Bowl? Yeah, well, we're talking about the tickets you won from the thing. Well, yeah, but yeah, like... I won tickets to the Super Bowl. <gasps> paid for the tickets. Oh, yeah. I got this in the mail today. Did you win tickets to the Is Super Bowl? Is it your man card? I'm sorry, I stopped. What the what fuck is, is it? Super Bowl confetti. How much you pay for that? I didn't pay anything right, for it. good. I don't... Just be because you're on Who's, part of the, the hell Chiefs mailing list? Who sent it to you? My uh, manager, her husband's a beat writer for the Chiefs, so he was oh, at the Super right. Bowl. Nice. That's a pretty beats sick. Beats manager? He, he's a writer for the Chiefs. <laughs> he covers the beat. <laughs> so I didn't understand the words. I don't know what that means either, but... I, I, cool, Chiefs. man. You got some confetti. That's fucking sick, though. What are you going to do with it? That's awesome. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. I might put some in my Derek Thomas painting. I, I figure you can draw, clear, yeah. clear a space, put a tarp down so you don't lose any, and then just go, yeah. <laughs> no. Do it every year at the Super Bowl when they lose every time after. She gave me a decent amount. She said, you can give some to your brother, maybe. I'm like, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Give some to my brother, but yeah, yeah, I might hang on you. to it for a while, and then wait for my nieces and nephew to be like older, and then my hey, here's some sheep's confetti. All my brother's shit. He's got some stuff like that from the Chiefs, and he just like it all just piles up in this spot where his kids are always like spilling shit. Oh uh, no! You know, it's just like all right, dude. Like, yeah. Well. I mean, yeah. once your kids are older and you actually have a house, it is also yeah. just yeah. confusing. I mean, he has a house, but you know, right? <laughs> well, he's running instead of you, his kids. You could literally yeah. just buy some confetti and tell them it's Chiefs confetti. They would never. No. Come on, dude. What am I, a fucking dick? Well, no, yeah. you'd be smart you're like, to do it. Ah. Here's, here's some confetti. There's three pieces. Yeah. Each one is signed by Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, no, I doubt it. Uh, yeah, no shit. That's Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think it's about that time. Uh, oh, I know. Your alarm just went off, didn't it? No, I just noticed the day of I'm good. No, I got to go home. I got to go to bed. No, yeah, he wants a Modelo. I got up early as tits. What? What about? Modelo? No, I'm good. Thank you. I gotta get up early as balls, okay. so I, I gotta go. Uh, 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 well, uh, sh- oh, this shit. magic game is to be continued, right, Daryl? Like, how are we gonna play yeah, this? Yeah, let me give you just like a really brief rundown of how the game works. Let's all right, wrap it up. You get twenty health or hit points. I've never known that. All right. <laughs> Once you determine who goes first, <laughs> what the fuck? Like? It's just a clockwise around them with people. I've never known that. All right. You get that so far? 20 was, points. Figure out who goes clockwise. first. Go clockwise from there. How do you figure out who goes first? Uh, you know, I had to look that up. I don't, th- I'm sure there's something about that. You roll the dice. I don't know that. Yeah, I just remember. I, I, yeah. I Usually whoever won the last game went first. Well, I still don't know that then, so. <laughs> but, uh, so, <sighs> when it's your turn, there's an order in which you play your cards. First, you play any magic cards you have. Those are sorcery cards, those are instant cards, and enchantment cards. You can get those out there. If you can play them, which means your next card you play, if you're available to, is a creature card. After your creature card, then you play, oh, sorry, you play land first, sorcery or magic cards, and then your creature cards. Mm-hmm. So if you have a land card, that's how you bring out your other cards or summon your cards. You can't have magic without land? Yeah, pretty much. Your land is like, you know, if you think about it, it's like your territory. How can you have an army if you don't have somewhere to put them? Yeah. Okay. So you Are you confused? It's like you're drooling. No, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm just like really focusing. Of, you have to have All a right. lot of land. Because I did not know that. It's your turn. Play your land. Play your magic cards. Play your fucking creature. You can do all that on one turn. Once you've played, you've gone through your card laying stuff. Then you can like make certain decisions. Like I want my teacher, my, my teacher, my creature to attack a player or another creature. Or sometimes there's things that creatures can do. So like, uh, if I tap my creature, I can add a buffer to this other thing. You know, shit like that. Abilities that these creatures uh, or artifacts is another type of card. Uh, you can you can do. So that's kind of your round, though. You have the, where you play the cards, laying them down out of your hand, land, magic, creature. Then you can use the abilities, make attacks, things like that. What if you don't have a creature? And then that's it. Then you're done. What if you don't have a creature? You can just that attack. sounds so goddamn simple. What attract, the fuck? You can attack land? No. No, asshole. Other creatures no. or players, I said. Well, I've already said that. What if they don't have a creature? You attack down? them, then. Your point is to get their HP down to zero. What if, 
Son of a bitch. That's for some reason that seems way more simple than I remember. Well, there's a lot uh, of st- strategy though. Well, I'm sure, but the that's the scaffolding of the game. Of the game Everybody's at 20 health. Y'all go around taking turns attacking each other or building up defenses, effectively, and traps. It's a trap. Oh, they're quick games, right? They can. They be. can be. Yeah. G- generally, they're not. I mean, if it's a heads-up game, usually those aren't too long. Ten minutes, maybe. I mean, that, 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 the appeal of that is like the quick. Anyway. Well, that seems a lot more interesting. Uh, more. Uh, well, that's where the art comes in, though. Is like, once you understand the cards you have and how to use them, then you build a strategy and, and assemble a deck for that strategy. Huh. Well, sure. So, do you think you can have some decks for us to play with next week? I have a uh, plenty of decks I'll built. Pl- here. I'll play with your deck. I wanted to see if my well, old Derek's deck. Another fun deck I had was a heck, black. Tell you one. what, you hold Derek's deck and I'll play with yeah, it. Yeah, you have like a red, green, and black, whatever decks you can all play with, and just teach us as we play, right? I feel like that's the way we have to go. Like, There's a white deck. Well, How wait, many cards are yeah, in okay. your hand? Did we ask that? I gotta go. We should all be sixty-five cards. All right, all right. More black decks at. To be continued on the Magic the Gathering. Um, fuck off, John. Oh fuck! You. All right. Fuck you both. Turn oh, off. I gotta pee. <laughs>